So Teresa, a lot of people or job seekers use career coach during their job search. In your opinion, why career coach is important and what they can, what they can offer to job seekers that they cannot discover by themselves? Coach as a title, and you could kind of put anything in front of that, like what kind of a coach are you? And for me, the definition is someone who can guide, someone who listens so intently to you that they know the next question that helps you to break through to your own answer. Cause all of your answers that anyone ever needs are within them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a coach knows how to help an individual navigate through what's in their head and get it out in the way that they need to get it out to have their breakthroughs. You know, what I've been sharing in our previous clips is of course, don't hesitate to start working on your own EQ, invest in your EQ, you know, build that into your profile, put that on your resume. I also believe coaches, really great coaches, spend the time listening to the individual to help them unlock their why, their how, mm -hmm. and then a career coach specifically would have the talents to help you look for the what that fills that criteria like the jobs and the places that fills your why and how criteria, because we'll be the most successful we will ever be when we have the what aligned to our why. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very important because sometimes we need those you know, accountability or someone to give you exercise or listens to you and gives you accountability. So the next time when they meet, they have done that exercise because the career coach will not come and fix everything for you. As you mentioned, it's all about insight. They will just navigate you to find your why and what you're great at. Mm -hmm. I think a career coach too can help people who are searching in desperation mm. to start searching in deliberation, mm -hmm. like deliberate wow. job seeking opposed to desperate job seeking where yeah. you'll just take anything Survival that comes job, your yeah. way. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, in two months, be looking for the next thing in two months, be looking for the next thing. And all of a sudden you're stacking your resume with like yeah. two months stints. And that can yeah. be a little of a red flag. But again, do you think that people should accept any job or they should find the job that they love, but they don't, if they don't have the skill set and then they have to pay the bills or they will take any survival job. So what do you think about that? So I just had this great conversation for, uh, with Alberto Gonzalez Otero and he, his company is called Just On Purpose. Mm -hmm. And what he works with people on in finding you know, their purpose for whatever, is these sort of four criteria around mm. what you love, what you're good at, what you can get paid for, mm. what the world needs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you land in the center with all of those things sort of equally contributing, you're in your sweet spot. But this doesn't mean that you can't sort of tilt it in a specific direction. Mm. So you might tilt like, I can get paid for this and I'm kind of good at it and I like it. Don't really love it, but I like it. And the world might not need another t-shirt <laughs> company, <laughs> but that's okay, right? Yeah. And so you, you can sort of adjust the model a little bit and some people will feel fulfilled with an adjusted model. Some people feel off balance there. So you, you have to play to your own emotional cues of, yeah. you know, Am I, am I happy with what I'm doing? I mean, have I reached that level of happiness? And if I haven't, then I might still be seeking. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a great. Thank you for that, Teresa. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of career coach or if you like uh, anything, please reach out to both of us and tune in tomorrow for, other, uh, my, for my final question with Teresa.